as I was taking apart my GTX 960 for my external graphics setup, because I was actually gonna build an enclosure case for it so that I could just pop it in, plug it into my laptop and go on the move. And it's also very durable, which I'm gonna show you in a complete guide on how you could do it yourself. But when I was taking apart my GTX 960, which is right here, and excuse me for the complete mess, because you know, taking apart stuff actually does become quite a bit messy is that I found actual two memory slots on the GTX that aren't being used. NVIDIA probably did this uh, for marketing reasons. Now, you guys are probably going to be thinking, well, why would NVIDIA include two extra memory slots that you, as a consumer, could basically upgrade it? Well, they did it because they didn't really want to ma remanufacture the 4 gigabyte model because they had the, you guys probably already remember if you bought the GTX 960 when it came out, it came out with the two gigabyte model and then it was upgraded to four gigabytes like a couple of months later. But in reality, they didn't really manufacture the four gigabyte models. In fact, they designed it designed it to hold four gigabytes of memory. It's just that they didn't solder the rest of the pins and sold it for a little bit cheaper. But basically by putting these things onto the 960, all they do is pull back the graphics cards that didn't sell in the market and then solder on more memory. Which by the way, is going to be something useful for us. For people who know stuff about how to solder things and build computers from scratch when you rewire all these little wires and have different signal outputs, make a bulb like light up and then dim out. Anyways, all these different hardware hacks. If you do those things, this is probably going to be for you. If you know, if you don't know anything about soldering, like you can barely any solder anything, and you don't have the proper tools, then I'd highly recommend or advise you not touching this or at least learning more before you actually get into upgrading the memory. But all you do is uh, you see the four chips. There's one, two, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, uh, three, four on the back. And then there's gonna be one, I'm not sure if you guys can see, one, two memory slots right here, uh, one in the back and one in the front, which if you look up on the chip, that's basically the four chips. If you look on the chip, there's gonna be a code number. If you type in that code number on eBay, you'll see that the chip is gonna pop up and you can buy it. It's GTR5 and a maximum of four gigabytes. So once you solder in the four gigabytes, which by the way, in the description below, I'm gonna list the exact model number uh, for the RAM. Uh, China manufactures quite a bit of them. So uh, there's a specific mo n model number for the four gigabyte model. But these are four gigabyte model chips. They're 128 megabytes times 32, which is four gigabytes, it should be that. So yeah, you could just basically buy those chips. And if you know anything about soldering, you could solder them onto your graphics card and you're gonna get a four gigabyte graphics card instead of two. So there is a possibility with that. But anyways, I'm gonna have to end the video in today's episode. There's gonna be an external graphics adapter video coming uh, probably tomorrow because that's when I'm gonna get the eGPU. I'm gonna show you if it works with the Asus X501A. Maybe even do a, like a complete guide on how you could do it with your laptop and some of the requirements. But anyways, I'm just gonna have to wrap it all up in today's episode. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and smack that dislike. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe and I'm gonna catch everybody in the next video.